The time that the Bible has prophesied is upon us. The end times are near because Reddit has went down. Reddit is dead. But this really isn't sad news. It's actually good news. The websites went down because so many people are providing their communities in revolt, protesting Reddit's new horrible policy change. If you check out this Twitch stream here, it tells us that 7,243 subreddits have went dark as of me recording this video. And this is only about eight hours into the little protest. And now you may be asking, you think I'm skipping ahead too far in this book. The policy that I'm talking about that everyone's upset about is an API policy change, and they're changing it to where it is an unreasonably priced and basically just making every third party app be shut down. The biggest one of this, the one that started this whole Reddit blackout is called Reddit Apollo. You're probably familiar with it. It's an app that basically just lets you use Reddit in a more fun and easy way. And the way they were able to do this was by using API. And API stands for Application Programming Interface. And it's what allows you pretty much like if you upvote something that's running through API, it's interfacing on the application. But just to under like give you an example and out of you know out of the computer tech world lingo example an api is basically like buying drugs from a drug dealer instead of making your own meth lab cooking the meth and then doing the meth yourself you're just buying it from a middleman and that's basically what an api is it cuts out you having to do everything yourself and see all the back end things going on and just lets you con get in contact with one thing and have access to all the behind the scene things. And Reddit decided that under these new guidelines that they are going to change the price of these API calls, which is what it's called when like you use one of the API features like an upvote or whatnot. Because one call it says right here in the article is made each time a new data is requested. So July 1st, they plan to change the price of 1000 API calls to 24 cents. And the owner of Apollo for Reddit has came out and said that he's going to be shutting down his service because Sorry, he just feasibly cannot pay the amount of money he's now going to have to pay. Because what it will be having to pay now for 50,000 API requests, it would be $12,000 every single month. So, it, And for a free app, that's just not reasonable. That's completely unrealistic. And it definitely feels like they're trying to strong arm third party apps from existing so they don't have to deal with actual competitiveness and making their app better. They can just get rid of it and then people are forced to use their subpar app. And just to compare it, the owner, Salig of Apollo, said that a similar social media to Reddit, Tumblr, only charges $166 for 50 million API calls. So Reddit is absolutely, it kind of looks like someone might have fell asleep on the keyboard or fat fingered a couple zeros on there because that is an absolutely wild difference in numbers. $166 to $12,000. That is a wild, that's a big jump. And also they only gave him like a 30 days notice. And he even said himself, quote, going from a free API for eight years to suddenly incurring massive cost is not something I can feasibly make work within only 30 days. That's a lot of users to migrate plans to create things to test and to get through app review. And it's just not economically feasible. It's much cheaper for me to simply shut down. And that's sad because Apollo was a pretty good app. And in this Reddit post he made, he said Apollo made 7 billion requests last month, which would put it about $1.7 million per month or $20 million per, per year. And even if he only kept subscription users, the average Apollo user uses 344 requests per day. And that would cost $250 a month, which is over double what the subscription currently costs. So it'd be in the red every single month. And in this Reddit post, he actually gives a really good explanation of what an API is. Way better than my drug dealer explanation. He says, think of it as Reddit having a bouncer. And since uh, day one, the bouncer's been friendly. Where if you ask, hey, can you list out the comments of for post X? The bouncer would happily respond with what you requested. Provided you didn't ask so often that it was silly. That's Reddit's API. I ask Reddit slash the bouncer for some data and it provides it to me so I can display it in my app for users. And with this new policy change, he says the proposed changes means the bouncer will still exist, but now at an exorbitant amount per question. And that is, uh, that's pretty much what's going on. And ever since Reddit has tried to pick this man upside down and shake all of the money and even pocket lint out of his pockets until he doesn't have an ounce of money left in him, that made no sense. They're trying to squeeze all the money they can get out of him is basically what I'm saying. And he's not going to do it. He's going he's to shut down business. 
which probably is what they were going for in the end. They probably just wanted to shut down the third-party app, like I said. But this did result in what I showed at the beginning. Reddit went down for a little bit earlier. I still have this pulled up here with the, I guess, the amount of just communities being sent to private. And now I think for this to truly work, the protest is going to have to last for more than just like 48 hours, I believe is what they said the protest, protest was going to last. Reddit can just wait that out and then go right back to business as usual, bad business as usual. But, you know, for something to actually change and something to actually occur for the better, the protest is going to have to happen a lot longer and going dark is going to have to last for more than 48 hours, in my opinion, for Reddit to actually do something. Because 48 hours is not really going to impact their bottom line. And honestly, that's pretty much it. In summary, Reddit made a horrible decision. <clears throat> They're trying to just strong arm and big ball third party applications from using their social media to provide better experiences to users by making their API process so ridiculously expensive that nobody that isn't a Saudi Arabian prince could afford them. It's just absolutely ridiculous. They they know what they're doing, and apparently the community is not too happy with it. I don't think anybody's happy with it, especially the people who are running these third-party applications and extensions that people who use Reddit actually enjoy and made their life better and more easy to access Reddit. It's just not a fun day. And especially with all the other uh, big businesses out there making bad decisions like Twitch and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. It's just not really a good time to be online. Maybe that internet apocalypse thing should happen right now. You know, I thought it was going to be a bad thing if the internet went out for a couple months or a year. But after seeing all this stupid stuff, maybe the sun should just wipe out all of our internet access for a bit.